Hello, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Amnesia The Dark Descent. When I last left off, I was just about to enter the northern block of the prison. Ah, here it is. He unraveled the cloth protecting the orb. Alexander reached out, picked it up, and held it against the light. Cover it, he said. Keep it covered at all times. So now then, here we are in, uh, this dark tunnel. They really are quite good at making you very uncomfortable with your surroundings. Let's see. Oop. Ah, rubble. You know, I've heard that uh, people who are left-handed tend to prefer the left path on things like this. People who are right-handed tend to prefer the right path. I'm a freak because I'm left-handed. I should probably go back and see what's there, but... Uh, that way the kitchen. Now, considering that there are probably brutes trying to eat, uh, grunts trying to eat me, I suspect that, uh... The kitchen is the last place I want to go, right now. What was that? I do not like that sound. That is a very bad sound. Stop that. I notice I'm using the lantern a lot more now. That's because I'm frightened out of my wits. I'm doing my, I'm trying to do a good job at not uh, making it ridiculously obvious. I'm gonna go down this way. Last time I went into a place called storage, it didn't go over so well, did it? I still don't like that sound. Okay, dead body. Nice. Oh, oil. I could definitely use some oil. Tinderbox. Naked guy. He's a very angular butt. I'm so respectful of the dead. Oh. Hey! Anybody! Help! Christ! I don't believe this! Why? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? I don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. Okay. Since Bremen advised Sorry. me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Sorry about that. Uh... Anytime I get, I get distracted or get a phone call or something, I have to pause, and sometimes I forget to unpause. And seeing as I'm doing this all in one take, it's going to be full of mistakes. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? This is a very bad place to hide. I'm going to be caught. This is a terrible idea, but I don't want to go back out there. I expect to be killed any moment. But I'm going to hide in the corner, in the light, which is a terrible idea. Hopefully if the grunt does kill me, it'll just go away afterward. That would otherwise really suck. Go away. Go away. It's a 
you're gone. I hope it's gone. I don't hear the music. I don't see it. Are you there? Are you going to gank me? Please don't do that. That wouldn't be very nice. Alright, I think it's gone. Alright, uh, let me think about where to go next. I need to do that storage place. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. See how my sanity. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Probably because I've been abusing this lantern. I think this is the way back to storage. So that's the kitchen, yeah. So that means storage is. Yep, right over here. Oh, wow. I see those. Nice. Soon we'll be ready. Let there be enough time. He really does have a very nice voice, you know? Alright, storage. Oh, dear. He escaped. Where is he now? I'm fairly certain that was a brute. Seems strutting. Strutting his death. Open door good. Close door bad. I do remember that. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. <laughs> My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. How nice. Alright, yeah, if you open that door, a grunt will appear. that way. Okay. That's not scary at all, is it? No. I'm actually running a little bit low on recording time, so I'm going to pause right here for this open door, and see you in the next entry. Bye!